Absolutely. You should do more than one thing. You should. You know. I had the chance to meet uh, Ron the other day here, and I found him to be a very interesting man. A career in broadcasting and uh, having affected a lot of lives through that job and through that medium in Alberta and coming back here to British Columbia. But what we want to talk about now in the remaining time is his uh, passion for his inventions now and maybe in the future. I want to learn a little bit about this. Get it done in a way that makes sense to inventor Ron. And so let's go to that whole area now with Ron and learn about what became of all the inventions, the patents, trademarks, anything in his wheelhouse that he'd like to do something more with. We've seen in his kindness, he brought us this gift. He's gonna talk a little bit about one of the gifts. We're gonna put the links, his social media, everything into the videos so that you can connect if you're interested, if you have questions, if you want to buy. Um, and I'm sure he'll be happy to, time permitting, give you um, answers and, uh, and feedback and work together with good people just like I like to do. All right, Ron, tell us. Tell us about the inventions, beginning to end, where you want to go with it, freewheeling. Well, when I retired in 2011, I wanted to become an inventor. And I had an idea in mind. I wanted to invent uh, organizers for cords and cables. Excuse me? Organizers for cords, cables, and hoses. Okay, you wanted to, when you left, 2011, become an inventor and you wanted to start with cords and hoses and how to get them organized right like car coiling 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 cords and cables okay because in TV they teach you the over under coiling method okay you ever heard of that no okay so um, if you want to coil a microphone cable you have to do it carefully you can't get knots because it has a shielding around it okay and if you damage it you'll get interference you'll actually be able to hear a radio station through the microphone because you've damaged the shielding in the microphone cable okay so one of the first things they teach you in TV school is how to properly wrap cables so the proper way to do it is you do an over loop an under loop an over loop an under loop what are you wrapping it with? What kind of material? Well, when you make a loop, when you oh, just the cord itself. When you're looping, you're protecting it. Yeah, when you're wrapping. Gotcha. When you're wrapping up a coil of cable by hand. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like a hose or a cable. Or you have to stretch it out, and then you coil it up. And you store it, right? To give it longevity, so it's good to last a long time. It's yes. very expensive. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the best way to uh, coil anything that's like that, a cord, a cable, is to do over, under, over, under, over, under. And then you keep it in over, under loops in the order in which they were created. So we have one end over here, over, under loops, and then the other end over here. And then when you separate it out, there won't be any knots. It's guaranteed. It's okay. impossible to have a knot. Okay. And as you stretch it out, the over under loops cancel each other out. There's a there's a twist in each one. One's twisted clockwise, the other's twisted counterclockwise. So when you uncoil it, that untwist creates a twist in the in the line. The next one cancels that one out. Okay. Twist, untwist, twist, untwist, untwist. So when you stretch it out, it's perfectly straight. There's zero twists in the in the in the cable. So I invented this um, organizer for cords, cables, and hoses um, that you can use the over-under method to guarantee that you'll never have another knot, ever. Wow. And it works. It worked. So I had uh, a bunch of these made, I had molds made, I had everything made, I had it all figured out. And I had uh, inventory in Blaine. I was living in White Rock. Okay. And uh, it all came crashing down. I ran out of money. Okay. I had storage bills in Blaine. I, you know, I had production going. I had too many bills. I couldn't pay it out. Okay. So I had to shut it down. Okay. I shut it down. I called the warehouse in Blaine. I said, take all my inventory and take it to the dump. Wow. Send me the bill. Thank you very much. It's like, it was over. I ended it. Because I didn't want to go bankrupt. And uh, if I carried on, I would have gone.
gone bankrupt because the bills were just too much for one were guy. Were people, radio, uh, TV stations, other buyers not buying it, not seeing the value well, I hadn't found customers. Mm -hmm. I had I got into, you, when you produce something, you have to have the things to sell them. You can't sell stuff on well, spec. Chicken and egg. You gotta have what you want to sell. Exactly. Have time and money to be able to explain so, it. So my mistake okay. was that I made six products. I designed six products. I had three for cords and three for hoses. Okay. Uh, for the cords, it was for 16, 14, and 12 gauge. Okay. And for hoses, it was um, for uh, smaller ones and then large ones and then you know just three versions of for like, like air compressor hoses, garden hoses. Oh. Uh, you know, all the various different kinds of poses that a tradesman would use. Okay. So I designed six of these things because I thought, well, you know, you make one, it's not a big deal to make two, right. you make three, and then I had this really great designer. Well, when I retired in 2011, I wanted to become an inventor, and I had an idea in mind. I wanted work together with good people just like I like to do. All right, Ron, tell us. Tell us about the inventions, beginning to end, where you want to go with it. Freewheeling. Hey, this has been fantastic. Inventor Ron, I really appreciate your time. My pleasure. And, uh,